Hey, how's everybody doing? My name is Santiago Pacheco and I do sax tutorials online. Uh, most of my tutorials are in Spanish, so you guys may have not uh, heard of me, right? <laughs> Uh, the reason I do them in Spanish is, you know, because I notice a lot of people don't do tutorials in Spanish. So, so that's why I started doing them in Spanish. Well, anyways, I'm here today to show you guys a little sex lick off the song Problem. Uh, Ariana Grande, I think, is the person that sings this song. And it's just a cool little sax lick right at the beginning, and they play it in the middle, and also at the end. And uh, it's pretty easy. Just a couple notes, you know. Let me play a little slower for you guys. Right there, I'm using uh, the A sharp or B flat, whichever way you want to look at it, or the way that you're used to saying it or whatever. But <laughs> but uh, I'm using the alternate fingering, which is the top button, right? and the little one in the middle. I'm hitting it like that, right? Because it's faster. It's da, G sharp, G natural, F, right? Da, 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 da. Takes a little getting used to, you know, uh, at first, if you're not used to using that fingering. Or you can use this one, but it's just a little, just a little harder, you know? But it's possible, you know? I just think it's a lot cleaner to use this top one right here. Uh, that's about the only hard part of the song because it kind of uh, he kind of does it pretty fast So you gotta be you gotta be really looking for it the timing, you know uh, The timing threw me off at first when I was trying to get it, but it's it's a quick fix You know once you play it a couple times it, it just becomes natural, right? It's like a circle too. you play those last two notes, which is C and D sharp and then you start all over on top. Also, if you notice, I got a real uh, weird sound to my sax. And that's done by using the growl effect and a little bit of reverb, right? Uh, not reverb, I'm sorry. <laughs> a little bit of uh, vibrato, right? So the way you do this, it's hot in here. The way you do this is... Let me get down here, fix this camera. The growl effect is by pushing sound, right? When you're blowing, you also hum at the same time and the sound waves coming out of your mouth uh, crash with the sound waves that are coming in from the saxophone and they, 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 they distort, right? And they cause that, that effect. They use it a lot in jazz and other types of music. Depending on what note you hum, it's going to give you a different effect. See, uh, uh, also if you drop your jaw, you you uh, you bend the note, right? You take it out of tune. Now you add a little vibrato to it, you know, just a little quiver, kind of like when you're cold. hard at first you know uh, uh it, it took me a, a couple weeks when i was trying to figure it out it took me a couple weeks to to get that effect because it's kind of just not natural if you've been playing normal for a while you know it's kind of something hard hard to get used to kind of like circular breathing and other and other uh techniques but it's it's pretty easy just hum while you're playing just hum and eventually it'll start happening on its own <laughs> And I, actually, at first, when I learned how to do it, I couldn't control it. It was coming out when I didn't want it to come out. You know, I was playing uh, other parts, and when I got too crazy, it, I would start, you know, growling. And uh, it took me a little while. Like everything, you know, after a while, you get to get to uh, develop it and control it, right? So once again, uh, the little light, the little lick, full speed, and then uh, uh, slow motion, right? So you can see the fingers. Here you go. Little 
little slower. Well, hopefully this helps you. Uh, if you were looking for this song, you found it. I don't. I hope this is uh, what you were looking for, right? So I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.